Okay, uh, this was a video that I had, hadn't originally planned to make, um, but what what the hell? I'm making it anyway. So, uh, essentially, I've been here on YouTube for a day since I got back from Utah. Um, I, I'm just uploading all these videos today. I meant to do it yesterday, but I kind of procrastinated too much. Um, but I got into... I, I saw a... Uh, a video that was an interview between Wendy Wright and Richard Dawkins, which I will link in the sidebar. And, uh, sorry, my eyes. Oh, God. Um, and I got into a, a discussion on the uh, comment section. And uh, it, it it wasn't, I don't want to say it was nasty, but it was kind of like, it was borderlining on hostility. Not, uh, no hostility actually broke out, which was good. Um, but it, the whole thing was about uh, creationism versus... Uh, not creationism, it was about uh, intelligent design versus uh, evolution. And one of the people who was for intelligent design told me that intelligent design is actually based on... Um, and principles of mathematics, engineering, uh, yeah, science, and things of that nature, and for that reason was a legitimate thing. Now, uh, I'm going to tell you right now what my understanding of intelligent design is. And I'm not trying to be biased or anything, this is my honest understanding of the theory of intelligent design. Uh, basically, People have believed in God for thousands of years, and when, uh, when, I, I want to say Dawkins, but it's not Dawkins, it's Darwin, um, came up with a the theory of evolution, you know, at first people didn't believe in him, uh, but later people started believing in him as his uh, theory of evolution gained more and more uh, support in the scientific community, and people were discovering that, hey, it's true, when that happened, there was a camp of people who didn't want to accept it, and as such, they deployed their own scientists to try to find uh, some legitimate scientific proof that Darwin was wrong. Uh, or Not that Darwin was wrong, but that his uh, the theory of evolution that had come from Darwin's findings was wrong. And that's where intelligent design was born. Uh, now, as for the actual argument itself, um, I thought I knew, <laughs> I guess, more about it than I did. Uh, it was a lot to, it had a lot to do with, um, numbers. It, the way I understand it is basically saying that life is, uh, too unlikely to have happened. It's irreducibly complex. Uh, the number of you know, atoms that had to arrange themselves in just the right way uh, is, is too improbable for it to have been a completely natural cause is basically what I understand about that. Uh, a Christian friend of mine put it well when he said, an engineer ca uh, cannot design something if he doesn't know how it works. Uh, basically, that's what I understand of, not creation, I, want, I keep wanting to say creationism, but it's intelligent design. That's what I understand of intelligent design. Um, now, I will say this. I do not believe that any amount of improbability uh, by itself is proof of anything. Uh, because, first of all, things are not governed by uh, the laws of random chance alone. Uh, they're also governed by, uh, well, it's case by case, but in the case of evolution, uh, the laws of biology and uh, ecology and things of that nature. Um, so a lot of the chances uh, that were given forth uh, would possibly be, in reality, a lot greater than the scientists, these creation, not oh, these intelligent design proponents uh, make them seem to make them out to be, um, for that reason, because when they're doing their calculations, uh, they calculate things based exclusively on the laws of random chance. 
<clears throat> now, even if these figures were as low uh, in real life as these people make them out to be, I still don't understand why they would put God into the equation, uh, simply because there's nothing substantial that proves God to exist. Uh, and I, I would have thought that everybody knows that, uh, but I guess surprisingly some people don't. Uh, I, okay, I, I thought that even the people who were arguing for God uh, would know that, but uh, I guess there are some people who genuinely believe that there is some scientific evidence for God, which never ceases to amaze me. But yeah, I've told you what my understanding of the theory of intelligent design is. Now, what I want is for somebody to fully explain to me, first of all, what uh, what's incorrect about my understanding of intelligent design, and second of all, explain to me in detail exactly what the theory of intelligent design is. You know, I a lot of uh, people, proponents of intelligent design, uh, they uh, will, they like to attack uh, Darwinism, they like to attack evolution, uh, without knowing what the theory of evolution is, and I don't want to attack intelligent design in the same way. I want to fully, I want somebody to fully explain to me what intelligent design is, and uh, yeah, see if uh, I can't make my own decisions based on that. Um, so yeah, I invite anybody with such knowledge to share it with me. In fact, I encourage you to do so. And uh, perhaps we can uh, engage in some sort of dialogue. Until then, peace the fuck out.